Hello everyone, I hope you have some time because I'm gonna go through my current strategy to try to hunt both metallic and giant paths. Well, it's gonna take a little bit of time to explain everything, but if you have the time, I'm gonna take the time to do it, okay? Yes. We're gonna also talk about the lab setup that I am using while I'm doing this. But first, I wanna go and talk to the different strategies that I'm doing here, or I'm using while doing this. And maybe the question is a little bit, why do I hunt both metallic and giants uh, at the same time? Um, the, the thing is, they are connected, right? You, you know that y to get a giant, you need to have a titanium metallic, right? So, how many titanium metallics you have is gonna affect your chance of getting a giant tremendously. So, if you are rushing too fast trying to get those giants, you can slow yourself down. So that's why it's actually quite important to be early on rushing to get those metallics and not just trying to rush to get those giants. Yeah, I know trying to get a full first team with uh, and giants there. Yeah, it's important trying to get common giants and so on. But if you rush this too fast, you can slow down the whole process. And you're going to see, even though I haven't been playing a lot, I can pass you because I want efficiency in what I do. I don't know 100% if what I'm gonna say is the best way to do it, but at least it's what I believe might be the best way, right? And uh, hopefully that should be mean something. So basically, um, first I just want to go in here to show, because I, I want rune stones is also a very uh, important point to all of this, right? So there are different, five different up upgrades for rune stone. One of the really important one for hunting giants one is the giant lock. This one is affecting, you know, that gi big giant lock. We're gonna go and look at that later on. This is uh, making that even better by just having rune stones. You see here, I can take this even one more up now. So it's 1.73. Maybe you have higher on the me on this, maybe you have lower on the, the me on this, but it's quite important to have to get the chance of getting that uh, giant lock. Because you have to get all of those double, triple, uh, quattro and penta and then you actually have to get the lock to get one. And there is where this one is coming. So this is tremendously important. But anyhow, it doesn't help to have this high at all. If you don't have what is very important, if you don't have much of these titanium commons. There's a, a, according to me, I, I don't think that there is any point going for giants before you have 50% of uh, min a minimum, maybe 60%, 50-60% of the, this common needs to be titanium. So before you go to do that, I'm actually going for trying to get 100%, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna get a chance I get a giant and then it rolls like the squirrel here and I don't get it. I actually lose a giant by by doing the, in that way. So. Yeah, I, I know it's it's kind of quick important to get yeah the first giant up here, but after that it's also quite important to fill up with those metallics. And then if you are especially why this is important is that if you are going to go further to the uncommon ones, and you only have some few of these giants here, and then you are trying to go take the uncommon ones, and you only have 10% of those in titanium, that's gonna make it 10 times harder. But additional, if you only have 10% of the giants when you start to un uncommon you're only gonna have 10% of that and that would say you were gonna have 100 times less chance of getting a, a uncommon one so it, yeah a waste of time basically so we need to hunt that so basically also inside of here I also have been increasing my metallic lock tremendously because I also think that is quite important to increase the chance of getting metallic lock so that is very, very important. But additional to this, it's not only these rune stones that matter. You need stones. You need a lot of stones to upgrade the chance of getting a giant. To upgrade the chance of getting a metallic. So that is also why I'm upgrading also the aglock one. You can see it's quite high here now. And that's because when I'm hunting um, uh, the stones, it's very good to have tremendously good of agglock. Fuselock is not very important. Like you see, I'm hatching a sanded here. 
when 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 you fuse it, it becomes mythical. It can't be higher than mythical. So fuse lock is completely waste on this one here. And also when I'm hunting uh, the metallic, I'm gonna show you later on on that. When I'm hunting metallic, I'm gonna have the common one. Fuse lock is not interest at uh, at all. And uh, egg lock, but I'm gonna keep the egg lock and fuse lock on. I'm not gonna deactivate this one because I want to have all of the common ones. I don't care because I want to just to get a metallic. If I can get a common, an uncommon or a rare metallic, I don't care about that. How long time it's going to take to get all of the common ones? Well, it's going to take the time it takes. I'm not going to use all my focus to only get all of the common ones. But I'm going to uh, hatch common ones until I have all of the common ones. So that is the thing that's the difference here. I'm not gonna disable anything there because I don't have a special need of getting that. And additional to that, it was very important also to be able to ha to farm the giants and use the strategy I have. I also need to have a good income, okay? So a good income comes of course of with a gold, mu gold multiplier. I haven't been taking this up tremendously, but this is the one that I'm really building up to get the mostly now. But also one more, I'm also building up the shiny lock. And why is shiny lock so important? Well, the shiny lock is the one that is going to de de decide which is my strongest paths. And my strongest path is deciding the damage that my giants is using, right? They are two times the strongest path here. And if I'm lucky to get a shiny one, it's going to be four times this one here. As, and as you see now, my ascended one has been passing the, uh, um, the prodigious one. As you see in here, when if I go to shiny here, I go on the bottom here. You see now, I'm starting to get a lot of ascended here. And what I really like with these... This, all of these is very close to each other, so it's gonna change from which one is the strongest one. But it's very important to have shiny lock as well. And remember, the shiny lock is also affecting the giants. Why not just get a shiny giant? That's very important. So basically, I say, yeah, it's go for everything. But prioritization here, I would say, is pry one is the giant lock. Okay? So pry one is this one here. Pry number two is the metallic lock. Pry number three is the egg lock. Pry number four is these two here. Okay? So that is what we're gonna have. So that is the rune stones. And then we are gonna to talk about stones upgrades. So what I'm doing with stone upgrade? Yes, I am upgrading both metallic lock and giant lock. And I'm using the typical uh, uh, strategy I have, equal distribution. So, when you go in here and check my uh, metallic now, I will always first upgrade my, my metallic lock. Because the metallic is what you need to get before you get giants. So this one uh, now is uh, at 90,000 in cost. Don't look at the numbers below here. Only look at the cost up here. But remember, this is the base metallic that this one in here is dividing up. Now, th this there is, is timing up. So this is very, very important one. So now I have made this up, so it costs 90,000, and after I do that, I go into um, in the, the new area here, and then I will first upgrade the giant lock. Of course, speed is very important, you see I've taken this up, but when everyone comes to the same point, I will then start with the speed actually. First speed, then giant lock, and you see this step is going up so much, it's more than 90,000. Then Penta Strike, you see it's 90,000 now, and then Quarter Strike, 90,000, and then Triple Strike, and the next one I'm I, I'm about to upgrade is the Double Strike and 85,000. And when I upgrade this one, I'm gonna go back to Metallic again and do that one. And then, so that is kind of the Rune Stones and the Stones I have. And then we are coming on into the lab update and what we are doing for that and what are strategies I gonna use for for hunting um, basically I have three different things that I'm doing so at the moment I have this setup here that has a number three I'm not gonna activate that now this is a setup I use when I'm actively uh, hunting stones and doing and rune stones. So this is my r stone and rune stone setup. Okay. So this is the one that when I'm actively playing, I'm using this one to get as many stones and rune stones as possible. It means I need to get as much of uh, cloning as you see down here, 
I, I have coins here because coins is always important. Of course, actually, one thing that is underestimated is the pet speed. I, I see these giants is really slow, so I'm gonna test it out. It may be that it's better to have clones and five in pet speed. That's maybe gonna give me more gold than have five in gold here. I haven't been testing that yet, but it might be. And then for the second one, I'm gonna have on uh, egg difficulty less there, and also on egg quest luck, because this is gonna help me to get more rune stones, right? And then on the third one, I'm gonna have more clone again. Cloning is helping tremendously me to get more stones. And then I'm gonna have here on egg quest lock, it's gonna help me on rune stones. On the next level here, I'm going completely into stones, because I need much more stones than I need rune stones, right? And, and here I'm going to Calvocation Lock here, and also a lot of more Egg Lock, because Egg Lock is giving me more uh, myth, uh, um, um, uh, mythical instead of uh, um, Ascended ones. And also the stones here, so just gonna, uh, when I get those as, uh, mythicals and Ascended ones, I'm gonna get much more stones. And then for the th third layer here, even more cloning, because cloning can give me tremendously of stones. And then even more uh, 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 <laughs> qualification lock here. And then for the last one here, I have even more qualification lock and even more egg lock. So this is basically where I have. If I have more points now in this one here, I would probably maybe... Um, it could be interesting to go for metallic, but there is no point for this setup here because I have another one for metallic. I won't go. That the next one I would probably go for is this one here to get even more stones. I'm not going to have this one here because I have that in my AFK build, but I will probably go for this one here. Increase this one even more if you have more stones than I have. If you have the next level here, you can go for more clone lock here, and you can go for more egg lock here, and you can also go for even more calvification here in in in. Here. Here, uh, an addition and, and continue in the same way on the top here so this is my hunt uh, active hunt for stones and rune stones okay and and then for for the next one I have is my one of my AFK builds this is my active uh, metallic hunting AFK build where I'm trying to get more of these I'm trying to get everyone titanium on the common ones and also start to get up as many titanium on the uncommon ones because uh, when I have most of the giant when I have most of the giant here from the common ones I'm not gonna start to go for the uncommon ones before I have at least 60-70% and, and more than 67% of the these uncommon ones here so I need to get at least, I think actually I'm gonna go for at least 60 or 70% of these common ones here. And I, I at least want to have 60-70% of the uncommon of the metallic here. Before I'm gonna go for the uncommon ones. So until then, I'm gonna hatch like I do here now. But at the moment, we have another build on. So I'm gonna have this one on because I need stones. Um, but then, when I do that, if on this one here, I will be hatching the common eggs, right? On the bottom here, I'm gonna have cloning, because that's also good for metallic, because it can mean that I can get multiple of metallics. It's not, it, it doesn't care that I like, I'm gonna get more, go more stones, I, I don't have it for that, it's only because of that. It also might be here that it's good to have speed instead of gold, but I have gold at the moment. And also down here, maybe you're gonna have 10 in speed, but also going to gold, get good gold income. I really want to have good gold income, because this is a really good opportunity to earn a lot of gold. And also why I gonna earn a lot of gold and I'm gonna come to later in this video so I hope you stay tuned understand if you really want to understand how I play these different games you need to see 100% of my videos if you are one of those to just see some of the videos you're gonna go miss of some of really detailed information so keep on looking because I'm gonna come and show you and reveal one of the way how I got two giants in just one minute here uh, so this is what I'm gonna do here for, for, for this is just basically to be, um, be lucky and get more metallics and uh, this is to get good the gold income up and also golden come up here in the level 3 and also try to get more lucky to get more metallics and then of course we are coming to this one to increasing my metallic lock here and also they are taking more cloning here to hopefully will get like a double or a triple or four uh, quadro uh, metallic because that is possible to get with the cloning and also more gold as well and for the last one here I'm going also for uh, getting even more metallic
But this one is a contradictional one. So since I'm in this build here, I'm not going to get any good stones because I will not get much stones in this build here because we are hatching common eggs or maybe in the future uncommon eggs, very low tier eggs. We are not going to get much of stones. Um, the way I can get stones is by mining. But also, when I'm mining, why not just have a chance of getting giants? So I, that's why I have 15 times here on the giants. And also, if I have more stones here, and I own more um, lab points here to use, I will be putting on here to get more stones. Or, next level here, you can put it in, in here to increase the chance of getting giants. And also increase the cloning here. But also, if you have the top one, I will put more into metallic here. And more into cloning. That's the most important one. The second most important then is to get more chance of getting gi giants. So this is my second build where I am hunting metallics. But at the same time has a chance of getting uh, giants. Normally in this phase I would only have the 2 times stone on and so on. But when I'm doing this one here I will still have the 2 times stone on. And I don't see any point of having on 5 time uh, I don't see any point at the, any of these two here to have on any of these boosts here. There's, there's kind of, it's just wasting money. Uh, there, there's not very smart of doing that. Save those money for a strategy that I'm soon coming to in this video, and we also soon gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna do this in this end of this video. We're gonna shrink it down as short as we can and see if we get some giants at least the chance of getting giants is going to be insane large when we're going to do what we're going to do because we're going to speed run for giants so but i have this one uh, on here because this is kind of cost efficient it's giving me a lot of more stones uh, hatching those egg especially when the, i have the speed that is over here it's going to give me more stones than when i'm hatching uh, an egg and and so on so that is good Okay, so then we are coming to the latest one. This is my hunting giant build, and this is the one we're gonna use in this in this video as well. And this is actually the one that is active as well, because I can also, if I AFK want to have stones, and at the same time I want to have giants. So this is my giant and stone build. So then I use this one here, and this is the one that has given me the last giants now you have seen in the videos. Um, uh, basically, it has given me uh, large, the three latest ones that I have got this build here. And I, I don't have any Tigger on here as well. I, I'm not going to have anything on. I'm only going to have the two times stone on when using this build here as well when it's AFK. So let's go through that build here as well. So this one, I'm going to have a clone on. This is very good for getting a lot of uh, stones. And I also have gold here. Again, it could be speed is very good. But uh, at the moment, I have this one here. And more gold income here. And more gold income here. And more cloning for getting more stones. Then I have here 10 on this one. On qualification lock and 10 on egg lock. Only to get more stones. And then I also on this one here have 10 on qualification lock to get more stones. And on this one here we are changing completely. On this one I have 15 on this one to get more uh, huge, uh, giant lock uh, hunting while I'm doing there. But this is not going to be my main priority. My main priority is getting stones because we don't have all of those auto boosts. So getting stones and gold, you're actually getting quite good of gold with this build here as well. So gold and stones, but a secondary like... We can be lucky, like I, I have been, three giants lately with this, I have this on. And then I also add some into this one here. If you have the next level here, I would actually, uh, you, can, you can decide what is the most important for you, to have more stones or have more giant luck. It, it depends what you really want to go for, but you can go for stones here, and you can go for more cloning up here, and you can go for both these ones here as well. Um, of course you can start to go for Aglock and so on, but I think from level 6 and up, you don't need to go for Aglock in this build here. Because this is not a pure stone build. Uh, that is something you can do in this stone build, of course. But in this one here, you want to have giant luck on it. Um, so basically for the 3 dex level, this is the ones that you will really want to go for. And also the cloning here. Is one. Uh, of course, it could be interesting this one here uh, in the future to have the titanium alloy one because 
this is what we are going to know in the end of this video here. We're going to show and demonstrate this as well because it's quite important to get titanium al al alloys as well with the build that's going to have. So I'm definitely going to have something in this one for the build here uh, for the future. And there is a limitation with only three builds. We can't have kind of 50 different builds here. So we kind of have to find those compromise builds that we want to use. So this is my compromise build. So then we are coming to what the really, really interesting in this video here. And thank you for staying tuned on the video um, and, and smashing that like button and so on. And I really appreciate that you are using the content that I have. And I'm going to try to make more good content for you now, especially since you are watching my videos. Um, the thing that we are going to try to do now is that we are going to try to do as what I call a speed run okay basically with a speed run uh, it means to run a speed run I need to have 25 titanium ingots I don't gonna waste I found out using five titanium ingots here to get more uh, titanium ingots is a waste um, it's better to have that in the, in the lab if you can in the future. Unless you are getting so many of these that you can use it anyhow. Then it's of course good. But for us normal deadly people. Um, I will be using these for getting the t uh, titanium blade. That increase our um, double strike lock here. And then I'm going to use the titanium hand handle that increase our triple strike lock here. So that's going to increase uh, our chance of getting... Um, uh, giants tremendously and it's gonna only be for the toes next uh, next hits here and this is one of the clues here it's gonna only be for the 1000 next hits here so if we now go into here our formula and check the giant lock here you will see it is uh, from basic I have two in Penta 2468 and giant lock is 44 and then by just um, the lab update it makes um, it makes everything a little bit better because the double one is getting higher up here to 70. It also makes the Panther down to 2000 and the Giant out to 3400. And then we have this temporary, these two, um, <coughs> where we used our uh, uh, titanium stones. Well, now where Panther is 300 and Giant Lock is 5400. But then, now we are going to waste all of that gold we have been earning, right? So now it's waste gold time. So then we are going over here. Now we are going to overclock. We are not going to overclock all the time. We're going to go for this speed overclocking. Maybe in the future you can overclock all the time when you have tremendously gold income. But most of us doesn't have that tremendous gold income. And I know many of you think that I have a really high gold income. I don't have any two-time gold on here. I don't have like thousand and thousand billion of robux that I can use on this and money I have a, actually a wife that can yeah be, beat me up if I, I use too much money uh, no she's not doing that so of course she's not but it's a little bit funny to say so so what the mo when you are putting on here the most efficient one <coughs> that is helping most is the f is the penta the reason for that is this is actually giving two time you see the double one is only giving 40% this is giving 100% so just taking on the Panther here, you will see <coughs> Panther is now down to 150 and <coughs> we are down to 2694 and getting giants. So this is uh, helping tremendously. But we are not going to stop there. We're going to take on the, um, the, the Quadra as well. And when we are taking on the Quadra here, you're going to see it's going to go to 1 in 83 here now. So we're going to get tremendously of try. Remember, we only have 1,000 hits now to do this on. And we're going to have 1 in 1,497. So, and well, are we finished with that? No, we are not finished with that. We are also going to take on the giant lock here. You see, if we could be taking on the triple strike here, okay, let's say that will increase 60%. But it's going to cost 10 times more. So it's going to be tremendously expensive. While we are doing this, we are going to turn off this one here. So we don't need any double of the stones while doing this right now. Because that's just going to make everything double the expensive. So if we have that one, we're going to have 52 and 935. But this is going to cost 2 times more than this combination that we're putting on the lock here instead. So in with this lock here... Uh, we are now gonna have almost the same. You see that? 1 in 83, 997. Oh, see? 
And then if you take this one on here, you have 1 in 52, 9, 3, 5. So you, it, the Penta is going to go much better. But you see the lock here is not changing that much uh, for that. Not for the double. <coughs> so we're going to have this one on. So I'm going to use these three on now. And you're going to see, we theoretically, we should get at least one giant now within this boost here of 1,000. But we can get unlucky. We can get zero. But we can get lucky and we can get multiple of them. It's really, really fun to do it in this way here. And we are trying to get this as most efficient as possible out of this. So it's a little bit fun way of doing it. And then also it's fun to get those while you are playing. So yeah, maybe this is not the best super duper or efficient way to do it. But I think it's quite smart. It's quite good. And it's uh, definitely quite funny to do so. Okay, so we are ready now. So I'm gonna go now, and we're gonna see uh, and try to to um, to get this on here and see how this is gonna go. So that's gonna be really really fun. I'm not gonna focus anything about the questing and so on now. We are solely just gonna try to get uh, and try to get th these things here now. So this is gonna be really uh, uh, fun. And wish me well luck and smash that like button and see if we can get a giant. saw there, <laughs> just after 8 hits, we got our first Penta. 8 hits and we got the first Penta and this is just gonna continue. Oh there we got another Penta, come on, come on, oh! Oh we got the Penta, we come on, come on, oh! <laughs> Oh, yeah, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh come on, come on. Oh, close. <laughs> oh, come on, uh, yet another panda, come on. Oh, it's so close. It feels like I get the one. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on, oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> yeah, come on. Oh, <laughs> oh, come on. Yes, come on, come on. Oh, no, <laughs> so close. Oh, come on, another penta. Come on, and yes, we got the giant goat. <laughs> it is totally working this method here. Yes, we got a giant goat, but can we also get one more? So that was my, let's say, my ninth. So we equipped that one. So that was my ninth uh, giant. So we got the goat there. Nice, nice, nice. We still have 326 to go. And let's hope for another giant. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, come on, uh, yet another penta, come on, come on, no, so close. Oh, come on, come on, come on, oh. <laughs> oh, come on, and yet, yet another penta, come on, come on, come on, oh, yes, we got a giant ch camel again. Second giant under these 1000 hits here. And as you can see now, I think I have three of that giant there, right? Three camels. Three camels. That is amazing. <laughs> what is the chance of getting three camels among your 10th first giant? So that was my giant number 10. And we still have 165 hits to go. And let's see if we can get one more giant. Oh, by the way, as I can see here, this also gave us one more task done. Three giants in uh, six hours. And oh, we got a oh, well, that was one other panther. The reason for that, I just got a giant for right before I started this, and then we got two giants now, so we got another point. So let's put that point into business. Sorry, had to sneeze there. So let's put that into the business here. We're gonna put it one more point in there, and for our other setup here, we're gonna put that point into this is the. Oh, oh, we got the penta. We got the penta. Oh, yeah, we got the penta. So then for my metallic setup one, where are we going to set up? We, we don't really need stones on that one. 
Uh, we don't need, really need that lock in that one. We are then basically going to put it into... Let's see here. Where are we going to get that one? We're actually going to put that into... Yeah, we're going to put it in so we can get more stones. Because that's an AFK build. So why not do that? And then to our build here. Where we are trying to get as much as possible. Let's see here. We have this up here. We have this one here. And there we have that one. So this is a stone build. So for this one here, we are actively go just going for stones. I think actually I am gonna get and add more for stones here. Actually gonna do that. So that's what we're gonna do. Use this for. So now let's use the 80 last hits here and hope we can get another giant. Oh, we got another panda! Come on, come on! Oh, <laughs> imagine if we could get a third one. Oh, come on, another panther. Oh, we only are in, in the last hits here now, so we just we're gonna just keep on doing here. As you see, we're only three left now, and when we are done, I'm gonna stop this, because I don't wanna waste any money or gold for, for that. So, basically, yes, this is the speedrun way that I am doing. As you can see now, we went from eight to ten, and we have a triple camel team. <laughs> it's kind of funny here. And uh, yeah, it's quite good. And as you can see, we are up to 10 giants now with only uh, 7 different ones actually. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But uh, it's 7 out of, of the different, uh, all the ones that is there. We're definitely gonna get, we haven't got any shiny giant yet, but uh, I would, that would be amazing luck to get shiny giants. And as you see over here now, I only have 4 stones again. I'm not gonna use them on this one. I'm gonna save up now. So I need 21 more stones, and a very good way of saving up those stones now is the, the, um, these different builds that I have. Each one of those actually helps try quite uh, uh, tremendously, but the one that is saving up the most of it is of course my metallic build where I'm going with uh, worry to going for and uh, just normal metallics and I can actually activate that now and show you how I'm doing that so I'm just activate this here now and as you can see here this one is also gonna make me I uh, get the possibility to get giants and it's also actually gonna give me a lot of stones since I'm gonna hatch be hatching here but I'm then gonna press set one time to change now to common and now we are actually going to hunt um, these metallics here right so this is the one I'm doing now to try to hunt metallics. And the thing is now, is that while I am now trying to get these last common ones, and you say, yeah, but you're not gonna get those, but that's that's what I want. I want it to also miss a little bit, because if I miss, I'm gonna get more of these stones here, so that I can get mer more chances to get giants. So this is a win-win situation. Either I get one of the common metallics I miss or I get a metallic of something else up here that I miss oh by the way there's only two now I got the third one uh, two left now metallics and then I have all different metallics and so on but and if that doesn't happen I get the metallic I have from before well I get a stone and if I'm really lucky I get the metallic I have from before while cloning and I get multiple multiple of stones. I've got that before. I've seen it two times. So I can in theory can get tens up to ten stones from just getting one metallic with the cloning. In theory, ten it's it's gonna be really lucky to get that, but it is in theory possible to do so, and you will never get it by not trying to get it. So basically this is the strategy I'm going to use now and I hope this is helping you so at least we have gone through how to get the rune stones, how to get the stones, how to use the stones, how to use the rune stones, how to uh, use the lab and so on, uh, which the different strategy I use them, how, to, how and when I use them and also how to make a speed run like this. We just got two giants in 1000 hits. It's amazing feeling. And you have just seen on how many panther we got during that as well. Just remember, it's not guaranteed to get giant with this method here. I've done it out of the three latest time I've done it. 
First time I got two giants. Second time I got zero. And this third time here I got two giants again. So it's not always going to give you a giant uh, or something like that. But it's going to give you a lot of entertainment. Sorry for all of the coughing here. I'm quite sick at the moment. But thank you. This was number one game of Ed Viper Toffee. Like and subscribe. And I hope this is helping you to hunt those metallic and giants. Have a nice day. Bye bye.